Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a pinch pot and we're going to turn this pinch pot into a cute little creature that you can add some details to. The pinch pot is the most basic hand building technique in clay so it's important that we get some time to practice that before we do some other clay projects in class. So these are the two basic items that you're going to be needing for this project that I'm showing you. I'm going to be creating a little creature, a little um, alien-like monster or creature. We can get really creative with this. So to create this guy, I started with a small piece of clay that I rolled into a ball. So I'm squeezing it like you would a snowball, rolling it in my hands, anything you need to do to get a round shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to be round. Then I'm going to stick my thumb about halfway through there, and I'm going to gently, with these two fingers, pinch and turn the clay till I have a little bowl that's even thickness all the way around. We don't want to squeeze so hard on one side that it gets super thin. We want it about a pinky width all the way around. So I'm going to bend this over to make it a little bit thicker and continue pinching and turning until it feels sort of even all the way throughout it. That feels pretty good. It's getting there. Now if I want to, I can smooth it out a little bit on the top. At this point, I'm not using any water, just my fingers, the only tool I'm using right now. And I think I'll gently tap it to get it a little smoother on the edge. I'm gonna set that aside. Then I'm gonna take my extra little piece of clay here for details, and I'm gonna pinch off two little pieces that I'm gonna use for eyes for this creature that I'm gonna create from my pinch pot. And I'm gonna roll them into circles. There's one, and there's two. Okay, now for this creature, I'm going to take my pinch pot, put it on its side, and just gently pinch it sideways so it looks like an oval. That is going to be the body of my creature. Then I'm going to attach the eyeballs, these little crazy eyeballs on top here. But right now, if I flick them, they're going to come right off. So I need to make sure that I do two things. That I pinch, I'm sorry, that I score the surface really well and scoring is basically just scratching the surface any tool will do but I like to use the pin tool for this and then I'm going to use some slip in this case slip water this will be fine just to moisten the surface and then I'm going to press on the eyes I use the slip water to help the clay really attach to the surfaces. Think of slip as kind of like glue for clay. So now this little guy has some fun eyeballs on there. I'm gonna use the back of a brush or the back of my pin tool and add some pupils just to give him some more detail. And this is the basic shape of your creature. Anything else you wanna add, arms, a tail, teeth, that's all up to you. Just keep in mind, whatever you attach, Make sure it doesn't get too thin. Anything you attach shouldn't really be thinner than the thickness of the pinch pot. Because if you attach really tiny little pieces, things like this, something too thin, that's gonna dry faster than the rest of the clay piece and just fall right off. So if you're gonna attach an arm, make sure it's a little bit thicker. You want to scratch the surface once again, add some slip water, pinch it on there so it's really on there really well. It should look almost look like it's just coming out of the clay. And if you want to add any other details, feel free to do that. This guy can be as creative as you want. You can even make something to hold, hold your pencils or your tools. Things can fit inside its mouth. You might want to give him a tail. You can give him antennas. You can give him little feet. I know a lot of people will probably want to give this guy a cute little tongue or some teeth. You always have to remember, scratch, slip, and then attach. If you do that, this guy is going to be great and he will not come apart as he's drying and you'll be able to glaze him once he is out of the kiln.